Well, I was going to go to the museum. Museum? Yes, museum. I like museums. You know, when I get in the museum, you just can't get me out. You mean they won't let you out? <laughs> You serve crabs here? Yes, sir. And serve my friend. He hasn't eaten for three weeks. Thank you. I'll uh, give him as a personal present to you. Oh, I'll take him home for supper. Don't do that. He's had supper. Take him to a shop. Now we'll try, um... um exercise number one. It's a letter, sir. Ma! How that? Oh, Cindy! Yes, we, we spent, uh... Several hours diving off the plunger into the deep. That's right, yes. Oh, in your feeling low down, and you can't find romance, leap into under speed and die. Three times he puts in the turbine. Three times we bathe in the hoodie. Oh, you'll get such a punch up your turbine in a minute. If you use that on me, that would be a war. Have they given Phillips a pass, do you know? But Philip the chimpanzee? Huh. Oh, I don't think so, Mr. Marriott. Yeah. How's that? Très bien, mon ami. Uh, viens ici, garçon. No, don't, pussy. Don't, nice, nice little put. Next. He's willing to pay that sum to anybody who can smuggle him a certain English rod or an upright piano with brass candle holders. You mark my words, after you're dead, people will look up to you. Why? I'm gonna bury you up a tree. That lovely melody that I have recorded for my latest film, which is now showing north of the river, and it's called, If I Had to Do It All Over Again, I'd Do It All Over You. My name is Bannister. I've seen you on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, the fuck? <laughs> Recently, a lady writes, Sir, my husband died suddenly after being run over by a steamroller. But I have found great comfort in my... I'll show you in bloody colour! What's he talking about, chump? Colour! The dirty fuck! Dirty, you naughty! Oh, all right, all right. But Mr. Blinkersop is a very, very good, kind man. Oh. Very gentleman. You see, if you insult Mix, you insult me because I am half Irish. And if you insult me as a Pakistani, you insult me because I'm Muslim. Half, half, half! Are you telling me that you... You're willing to give me 500 quid? Yes, to, to eat to, that ticket. Eat that ticket. How can it be a clean country when you have to put up sign, do not let your doggy do five pound foul on pavement? <laughs> Letter for you, Mr. Morgan. This is blackmail. Listen, I may be second class citizen, but on British Railway, I am first class passenger. How do you open a door? You turn the knob on your side. I haven't got a knob on my side. <laughs> and we like uh, three weeks rent in advance and a, a, small, uh, a small deposit on the Gideon Park. Oh, it's been knocked off. Even Jamaicans. You ought to be ashamed of yourself for asking such stupid questions. Carry on, old fellow. The fallen moon was stuck in the roof of an old deserted farm barn. Devil Chamberlain's a fool. I didn't the man should step down for a better man. Why don't you write him for the job, Dad? I have. Gentlemen, what we are witnessing is a return to an expression of antagonism against the world and society. But I tell you, I don't wish to be sent to the Bastille, me, because it's got very deep dungeons and terrible instruments of torture operated by very unsympathetic men. And they slip very important parts off people. Yes, mate, you never kept a promise and you never will. Oh, the dirtiest scum I ever sailed with. Please let me explain. I am Muslim on my mother's side. And I am Irish Roman Catholic by an old friend of my father's. I'm sorry I did not recognize you the moment that I saw you. But now I've seen you look a fine queen. The finest I've ever seen. All my mistakes, shall we? It's my, one of you don't make more mistakes reading this rotty rubbish day after day. You try saying disestablishment and parliamentarism after three hours in the bar with Billy Cotton Jr. <laughs> <laughs> this garment must be worn after August the 3rd, 1976. <laughs> Otherwise, the manufacturer cannot accept any responsibility for any accident that will occur in them. Oh, he'll make it away with that. In Scotland Yard, nothing must stand in the way of a murder, not even death. <laughs> Day 
of rest. My ancestors were the famous Amphitherium, the illustrious Faxolotherium, and the renowned Stereognathus. So there. <laughs> Let us imagine just this dummy of a motorist. The dummy of a motorist. It's a flying man too. That will be a pound extra, sir. <laughs> and you'd better watch out, because they've seen quite a bit of him around Baskerville Hall recently. Let us... Let us pass. Yea, he cometh to us like the siege of the grave. This is Convict Thrill, who is in for feeling bicycle saddles. I have come to relieve you. You're too late, I've been. <laughs> and now, to invent the catapult. Yeah. Hitler sings Anne Shelton, take 17. <laughs> I'll fought Cologne, because to tell you the... <laughs> Many of my parishioners ask me how I like women priests in the church. And I say, with big tits. <laughs> She's not very well today, so I should kneel up window her. Oh, I paid the price languishing in torment. The devil said to me, come on down, the price is right. <laughs> Aunt Hattie can't stand that terrible smell of fish. And Uncle Nutty wonders where it's coming from. <laughs> Mud, the curse of 1914, 1918 war. Yeah, you leave those stars alone, or... It's you! <laughs> faster and faster he spun like a spinning ballerina. Sitting before him on a huge giant throne was a fearsome giant. Run, run fast as you can. You won't catch me and the gingerbread man. She saw the old man there. Spare me some water, he begged. Get it yourself. Kiss me, honey. Don't <laughs> Who did you say all these people were? Nothing you need be concerned with, Headmaster. Out now! Get out!